Guys, we will make uh, this microtic, microtic, you can pronounce as you wish, uh, silent. Yeah. If you come here, you know that it's extremely no noisy. If you don't know, uh, let me try to demonstrate it for you. So you can hear now an ambient noisy. I have some heating here, so probably it's noisy. So the original, yeah. Unfortunately, I already disassembled. I do all my video with, uh, without script, and I decided to record it for you anyway. So, um, but you can get the idea. It's like an air plan, yeah. So when the lid is closed, when it's there in the uh, rack mount, it's extremely noisy. If you followed this project about 10 gig. Uh, data center, uh, home data center, then you probably know that I'm building a rack mount here in the garage. I do a lot of stuff. I decided to put this microtic there. It's even more noisy, you understand? Yeah, so if it's there, it's even more noisy. Uh, I was thinking that, okay, garage, it's not so a big problem if here is noisy, but it is so noisy, so annoying. I don't know what uh, microtic thought about because this is for the uh, home office usage yeah probably it's not for data center usages uh, this kind of design solution and price range so yeah i really appreciate this guys i like um, this uh, uh, latvian company uh, a lot about uh, their business policy and everything but with this device, I don't know. They dropped the balls. So um, I don't know why they put this uh, kind of solution here. And I think you all know that if you want to make something quieter, uh, you have to use Noctua. But they don't produce 30 millimeters, uh, centimeters, millimeters, 3 centimeters, 30 millimeters. Uh. The guy from Finland don't know millimeters and centimeters. Okay, well, and so um, uh, they only have 40. 40 will not fit here. Let's now compare um, the noisy from this Noctua. Yeah. So first, is it running? You cannot hear it. Yeah. You know, it's Noctua. It's Austrian. European company, yeah, we know how to make things well here, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you cannot fit it inside, yeah? So my only solution would be to fit it outside. Yeah, I don't yet decide how exactly I will fix it, will mount it, but it will be outside. And then to avoid warranty problems, I don't want to break anything here, otherwise I could break it here and put the connector through this hole but i don't want i decided okay i will take some stuff like this one or actually they have uh, uh, adapter uh, extender included not this one but another one doesn't matter so i was thinking i will cut provide the cable from here then um, do wiring here and that's how I do this but actually guys I noticed that if I put this cable here this way I can still close the lid and the cable will go there so it's not a big problem and that's how I plan to do it and I don't know how yet I will fix it I told I don't use scripts to my um videos so probably i will use this one let's see another idea was that will eventually uh, cause the loss of warranty to remove this heat uh, probably put another one and make uh, some hole in the lid and some fun that will blow out because we need to cool this one uh, this marvel marvel i guess chip or marvel universe uh, i don't know universe yeah so the chip we should cool it here yeah so but i don't want to do it this way and if you followed uh, uh, this uh, epic <laughs> 10 gig home data center drama then you know that i'm going to use this stupid 10 gigs rg45 
a module which will heat up to 70 degrees Celsius. Yeah, a lot of heat will be here. Probably I will use some fun in front of my rack mount there and then something else. But if we focus on this, that's how I plan to do. I will show you the final result and let's see. And guys, remember, yeah, so I'm building also NAS. Well, actually, when I plan, when I publish this video, I think the NAS is already built. Yeah, anyway, subscribe to this channel. Uh, you you help me a lot for this small channel to see how I succeed or not with 10 gigs home data center. And now let me think about how I will fix it, and I will show you this. Guys, I decided to go an easy way, an easy fix. Just one hole with this. Uh, included uh, how you call this i don't even know because i decided yeah because if you want to fix on another hole you don't hold you don't have the hole you should drill it yeah guys the noisy is from this uh, heating fan uh, not from here uh, so and because you don't have mo uh, movement by this um axle uh, and uh, not by this one yeah it's all fix it all uh, close with the lid from the top uh, here the shelf uh, So and this moment it's not a problem. So I decided it's okay Especially as a temporary solution why temporary? I think it will stay there for a long time So basically I need to close the lid and that's it. Let's see by the way I found this extension. So it's that one that I mentioned earlier So guys, I've got uh, this nice terrible look yeah, I fixed the screws here, here. I decided not to fix it here, so not to push this cable uh, more. So it's a temporary solution uh, during the warranty. Uh, yeah, and when the warranty is expired, I can do something else. But why, if the warranty is expired and it still work, I need to do something else it will continue to work the same way you may like it you may not like it but anyway like the video subscribe and uh, give me your comments thanks bye